Welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha and if this is your first time stopping by, please subscribe. So we gotta do this angle because the sunlight is crazy. I'm outside of Sephora right now because it is officially the Sephora sale. My favorite time of the year. Literally when I do the most damage in that store. Like I kid you not. I could spend, I'm not even gonna disclose the amount I could spend on this sale because it is literally like, it's my weakness. My justification is because it's a discount, it's not expensive. Even though I'm still spending crazy amounts of money on the sale but it's fine i did an order for pickup so i'm about to pick it up right now but today is friday i think it's the 27th day of ramadan something like that 26 27th and today is crazy in new york guys like it there was an earthquake today which i don't know if you know new york does not get earthquakes like we get hurricanes every now and then we get flooding we got stuff like that, but we do not get hurricanes. I said hurricanes. We do not get earthquakes. I kid you not, I was in a meeting. Everyone literally froze. They're like, D do you guys feel that? And all I could hear, D -d 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 -d, like, I could just feel everything shaking. I'm scared because I'm like, what do I do? I'm on camera in front of coworkers, and then I'm also trying to figure out what's going on, figuring out if I should run for cover. It just made me realize that us as New Yorkers, we are not prepared for major natural disasters because we just get used to not experiencing these things and people in cali have been laughing at us like all day like they've been like you guys are dramatic it wasn't even that, that much of a strong one but it was strong enough for me because in my 25 years of life i've never experienced an earthquake before and i don't ever want to experience one again like it's literally scary because you don't even know when it's gonna stop you don't know what's happening like imagine you're just sitting and everything around you starts shaking like everything like Anyways, but aside from that, today has been a great day. The sun is out after a bunch of rain this week. So yeah, I'm going to go pick up my order and then we're probably going to do a little unboxing in the car because I just need to show you, like, I don't even want to wait till I get home. I'm going to show you all the products I bought. I was on Sephora late at night, literally adding things to my car to make sure that I could pick it up for today. But crazy Friday, but it's about to get a lot better because we have Sephora products. So I'm going to head into the store right now and I'll see you all when I pick the products up. Hi everyone, so we are doing a car haul because I definitely did some damage this weekend. So first I'm gonna actually show what I got for my Eid gift exchange. So my family, we're doing the second annual White Elephant gift exchange. So we did it last year and everybody loved it. We loved, you know, seeing everyone's faces as, as they unbox their gifts. So I really wanted to bring it back this year. And I think in my first Ramadan vlog this year, I put in like the flyer that I made for my family. So. I figure since it's a sale and it's a $50 limit, this is a good time to get it because they could probably get a little bit more, you know? So this one is a You To The People set. So it has a face wash and the cream. So I've used both of these. It's actually in the birthday gift that I got from Sephora and I really like it. Like, I think it's definitely pricey, you know, the, like the full size, but I do like the products. They're super gentle. The cream is really moisturizing. It's one of those thick moisturizers, but it doesn't have a strong fragrance. So I kind of just feel like this would be a nice gift because you get your cleanser, you get your moisturizer, a little bit of everything, you know. And then I also paired it with this eyeshadow palette, which if you saw one of my last vlogs as well, I bought this for my best friend V for her birthday. And I love the colors in it. Like, I think it's so pretty. It has burnt oranges. It has some glitters in it, all of that. So the first thing that I got is this Huda Beauty. It's like this lip gloss that they have. It's non-sticky. The shade is Coco. So it's a really dark chocolate brown lip gloss. And I don't know, it just looked really cute on the you know screen and it had great reviews people were saying it's so buttery it's hydrating it also lasts a long time so i feel like my normal go-to chocolate shade is the fancy hot chocolate heat which i love that one but i just wanted to see if there's a different one on the market you know and it's around the same price point so it just made sense to try something different i really like the applicator actually i feel like this would make it really easy to apply so actually we're just gonna put it on right now wait that's actually so hydrating like, it doesn't feel like a lip gloss. Like, it just feels like a really creamy, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's very creamy, very easy to blend. 
yeah this is a great product so i'm not really that picky with glosses as long as they're not you know super cakey which this one if you're looking for something that feels light on but then also is like super coated I think you'll like this and we're just gonna keep in the family of Huda Beauty because I actually don't really own Huda Beauty products which I don't know why for the longest I could remember youtubers recommending her products but I just never really gravitate gravitated towards them so I wanted to use this sale to try new things and if you know me I've been using that Sephora baking powder or the setting powder translucent powder I've been using the translucent powder forever. It's affordable, it works, so I just didn't really feel the need to get a new one. So I wanted to try something new because that's my thing. Once I like something, I'm not really gonna bother trying a new one because what's the point? But sometimes you never know. There could be things out there that are actually better than what you're using at that moment so I like to use the sale to try things that I wouldn't normally try. So I bought the travel size of their baking powder. So this is in the shade Kunafa. And it's like this yellow, it's like a banana, but a yellower tone. So it's good for dark skin. So I looked at the pictures and a lot of the dark skin models were using this shade. And I like that it's small because I can really test it out and see if I like it. On top of that, setting powder takes forever to finish. It literally takes so long to go through one. So even this tiny one, I feel like will last me a couple of months because I just dab it and, you know, press it in. I'm not really a huge baker. So you twist it to open it. <gasps> Oh, and it comes with this little puff. Oh, I didn't even know it does that. So this is how it looks on the inside. It still has tape in it. So, oh, I'm guessing you take the tape off and then you like literally do this. So I'm going to show myself doing my Eid makeup this year, trying all these products. So don't worry. I'm just going through them right now. But I really, really like this puff. I feel like this would just be so cute to, you know press in whenever I want to highlight and then I also got a Huda Beauty concealer so again we're just we're trying everything in her brand at this point so this is in the shade crumble and again if you know me Sephora collection best skin ever concealer has been my ride or die for the longest as long as I can remember like I just love that concealer it's so full coverage it really smooths your face out it's so affordable so I just never felt the need to try a new one so I'm actually really excited because I don't know new makeup gets me excited this is the shade it's meant to maybe be more of like a highlighting one for me but it also had a bit of warmth to it so it wasn't like a super bright you know yellow that's gonna give me that flashback it's still warm and I also love the applicator of this I'm actually really excited to, to do my makeup on Eid now because I just feel like finally like some new products things that I haven't tried before I rarely step out of my comfort zone this is a product that Uche used in her routine and her makeup came out flawless so I said we are trying this by the way if I don't say all the names of these I might I might just put it on the screen so this is the full filter luminous matte concealer so very excited to try this so I cannot wait to try this you all know I have been obsessed with Vanessa Myrick's products I literally have her blush on right now and I can never walk around like there's never a day that I don't wear this blush that I don't get at least one compliment like people will always stop me and tell me they love my blush even when I went in there to go pick up my Sephora order just now they were complimenting my blush and it's from Vanessa Myrick's I just think her brand is so melanin friendly like it just honestly is so beautiful for all skin types or all, all skin shades but she came out with a yummy skin serum tint so if you know i love amicole skin tints i've been using it for years i have not went astray i don't care whatever skin tint comes out i never bother trying it i'm like amicole that's my girl and i still love that one like i think i'm a, i'm always gonna have that one in my rotation but i really really want to try this one i just heard too many good things about it i also have the balm powder of this foundation so i use it usually under concealer or use it for the days i want more of an elevated natural look and i love how it looks on my skin i always get compliments on that one too so i just knew that this one was not gonna disappoint me so i shade match based on the model which usually when i shade match i'm also right like I, it's rare that you know it's not correct oh my god this is so watery as you can see, it's literally like a serum. <laughs> I didn't know they were for real when they said this is a full-on serum. Which I actually think is very cool because this is going to blend right into your skin. Like, this is crazy. And as you can see, the shade match is pretty on point. It's a little bronzy, but I prefer that in my skin tints, especially in the summertime. So yeah, as you can see, this is it blended in. Like, you could barely see it. Obviously, I could do a better job blending it, but it goes right into my skin. But you could literally see the glow already. Like, this is just glowing. I literally... Like, I would put this on my face right now, but... Should I? Should I actually put on my... Maybe I'll put a little bit on my face. So I'm just going to put this on my cheek here because I don't really have face product besides blush. But look how that blended. Like, are you kidding me? That literally just blended so nicely. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I, 
I'm so excited. Next product is from Makeup by Mario, which this is actually the bronzer that I was using before. But for some reason, the bronzer just wasn't doing it for me at some point. Like, I feel like it was working. And then, I don't know, maybe it was expired or something. But I just felt like when I would put it on, I would need to put on a lot of product to build that look up. But I really wanted to try their skin enhancer. So this is more like a cream contour, but it just bronzes you up nicely. It gives your face dimension. And yeah, it's just, it looks so pretty in the packaging. I'm praying this is actually going to show up on my skin and not look like a foundation maybe i should actually try it right now i'm just like literally trying products in the car like making a mess <laughs> but yeah okay see looking already i feel like this is this is gonna be my skin <laughs> i hate when this happens when like the darkest shade is basically my skin tone like can you see it literally looks like a foundation on me like you, you can barely see it you can barely see it. So disappointed because when I tell you I was so excited to put this in the cart, like everyone has been raving about this for so many months. Moving on to the next one. So another product recommended in that uh, routine that I'm gonna follow. So the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Primer. I'm excited for this because again, usually I stick to one primer. I use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer, which I think is a great dupe. I think it's even better than the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and it's a dupe of it. So I think that one it's so affordable, literally like six or seven bucks, I think. So good. But I wanted to try something new, something different. A lot of people say that this really makes their makeup, like they feel a difference when they put this under their makeup. Their makeup glows throughout the night. It really holds everything nicely, but not in a really cakey or, you know, super dry way. So I'm really excited to try this. I got these lashes because, you know, Eat is coming up. And typically I do the clusters, but I kind of, honestly, I just want to pop a lash on at this point. This is Mykonos. So it looked like a really pretty shape. It said it's better for round eyes, which I feel like I have round eyes. So yeah, super cute. This is a re-up. So I got their lip balm, which I've been using this for probably a good year straight. And it literally is amazing. And if you've been on my channel for a long time, you know I love me some Laneige. That's the only thing I care about. The only thing I've been using for years. But yeah, ever since I started using this one, I really cannot... Like, it just... It has SPF in it. It's so... Like, the formula is amazing. The only issue is that sometimes the product doesn't come out because of the packaging. So you have to take something pointy and kind of poke it in so you can actually get the product out. But besides that amazing literally grab three if you can like this is one of those things you're going to use every day i also got this new scent from sol de janeiro so i never go a sale without buying at least one of their scents and to this day my favorite one is bondia that's the the one that i use the most often but i always like to try the new ones just to see if there's one that could top that one so this one is more of a vanilla so it says the notes are vanilla orchid sugared violet and sheer sandalwood so it seemed like an everyday kind of vibe I don't know why, but I get nighttime vibes from it. Maybe because it's purple and I'm just thinking purple night. I also got this bronzer from Sephora Collection, which it was $6. $6 because it may have even been less because it was already $6 because of a, a sale that happened before this. And then I also got probably 30% off of this. So this maybe could have even been like $4. I don't know, like super cheap. But honestly, after the Makeup by Mario one, I don't have faith. I don't have faith because a lot, of, a lot of these bronzers, it will say that it's the darkest shade, but it just doesn't show up on my skin. I feel like it's not going to work. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry if this doesn't work too because come on, like... But you know what? I'm going to try it because, yeah. See? <laughs> like why do they hate me i also got a contour brush from sephora which i never really get new brushes i kind of just use the ones that i have but i originally had bought this because i wanted to use it with the makeup by mario the skin sculptor even though i'm returning it now but i mean whatever cream contour i get i really wanted a brush like this that's super dense so i can really blend it and push it in so this is the brush the number of it is 78 oh actually i re-upped on my favorite brow pencils which are from the sephora collection so these are their retractable brow pencils so i got the shade granite and i love these pencils they're so thin they're also really affordable they make your brows look really airbrushed and you know like fluffy so i really really like these i made sure to get two because anytime i run out it always happens when i'm in the middle of getting ready for an event and i'm like oh my gosh how am i gonna do my brows so Make sure I had to this time. Hello everyone, we're in Little Italy right now. We're about to get our Eid outfits from Samira's Vanity. But I've been getting my outfits from Samira's Vanity probably for like two years. Cause I know you guys remember the whole Eid, 
like the debacles that would happen the night before your clothes never fit from the tailor that made your stuff in Ghana even though you gave the measurements yo and it's like bro let me tell you something if you a plus size girly I know you feel it even oh my more. gosh I used to come when I tell you that my measurements me I'm thick girl they used to sell me clothes that fit Aisha <laughs> no literally and then my clothes wouldn't fit me either it's like yo we would have we would literally be running around to the random tailors the night before like please fix our clothes yeah so I've learned my lesson one thing about me I'm gonna just buy a dress that's already made I don't even care at this point like I'll do my makeup I'll accessorize it but I don't really care for the whole custom outfits anymore I've outgrown it maybe too many horror stories <laughs> but yeah so we're almost at her shop right now so see you when we get there Hello, Samira's vanity. Yes. Always coming through every. If you don't e. come to Samira's vanity, <laughs> you, ah, you, you go even. over you. Ah, yeah. you, ain't for you. Not not going to be <laughs> but we came in here. We literally found a dress in like two minutes. Two like that's but, how many yeah, options she has. Yeah, I'm 52. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah this is like a nice yeah, orange. Yeah. yeah, this is I gorgeous. I have it in this. It's so Ooh. pretty. The and dark. then Hannah. I mean, look at the velvet blue, well, but I, oh, like the, no, I like this yeah. one. This one, the arms just give like yeah, rich, the arms are so it's pretty. It's giving rich arms. Yes. Oh my god, we popping out this eid. Yes. So cute. Like, Hide your husband. <laughs> Don't let your boyfriend stop you from finding no, out. No, literally. <laughs> this is it. It also comes with the inside dress, so I'm not gonna put that one on. But I just wanted to make sure the length fits. I want to be snatched. Can I be snatched? Can I be snatched? Can I be more snatched? This video is going up after Eid, right? Yeah. <laughs> I get secured. Sure Samir's vanity showing. Right, right. Yeah, show it. Yeah. Are you sure it's yeah. showing. Yeah. yeah, she blessed. Thank you, you so much. much. We appreciate, appreciate your you. business always. No, Thank you. Know the truth. Right. Know the truth. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So, last minute plans. I'm going to an iftar party, which I always see people go to iftar parties on TikTok. And I'm like, I need some friends who throw some. Or maybe I need to be the one to throw one day. But I just love the idea of everyone coming together and eating good food probably you know dressing a little bit nice so i'm just gonna quickly get ready for that it's honestly gonna be like i was even thinking about not wearing makeup but i was like you know what why don't you use this as an excuse to try this yummy skin tints because it's very light so i feel like this is perfect for a day like this where you, you don't need a bunch of coverage but you just want to look a little extra you know so i'm literally just gonna lightly fill my brows in and then put the skin tint on maybe some blush like I really just want a very natural look, but I thought this would be a good time to see if I actually like it, how it wears throughout the night, all that. Okay, I'm just gonna use a brush to blend it out, but let's see how easily it blends out and if it's a good match. Okay, can you just see first off, like, first impression? Honestly, I only expect good things because Danessa Myricks always comes through, but can you just see how that literally looks like a glowier version of my skin? Like, look how healthy that looks. I love it already. I just can see this for everyday use, even the office. A day like this where, you know, it's calm vibes. Yeah, this is really, really nice. It's so light. Like, I feel like I have nothing on my face, which I love that. Here is the outfit for the iftar party. So I've had this abaya for like years. I think I got it like my sophomore year in undergrad. Like, it's old. So I found it and I was like, you know, I haven't worn this in a long time. So I'm just going to wear it. And I love it because it actually has this like turtleneck, it has bedazzled arms, it also has this flower print inside. So I just think it's one of those more dressier ones. And then I'm about to put some lip gloss, which I'm going to use the Huda Beauty one that I bought yesterday. I'm just using this whole weekend to try on my new makeup. So yeah, I just love how buttery the formula is, especially at a time like this where I'm about to go eat. I don't want anything super sticky or uncomfortable, but... I will see you all at the party. I'm not sure if I'm going to vlog just because, you know, like I'll vlog a little bit, but not obviously in people's faces because some people don't like to be on camera. So, yeah, I will see you all in a bit. Okay, give us the outfit of the night. So, Sparkling. The, Abaya is from, when you watch this, Zara's closet. <laughs> stealing, stealing people's clothes. This is from 
Aisha's closet. Oh, you're really stealing people's clothes today. I'm a thief, but... You are. But yeah, cute. I like how sparkly it is. What are you wearing today? Okay, this is an old Abaya from years ago. Mm -hmm. This is a scarf I sold from you. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yep, we do a lot of stealing in this house. Okay, give us the outfit of the night. Okay. This is Maria, by the way. Hi, everyone. So, the dress is from Forever 21. Oh, I couldn't even tell. This is from Vild Collections. Um, this bracelet, this Easy Pickings. <laughs> this ring, um, my friend bought it from Senegal. Okay. Uh, this hijab, um, I don't remember. Uh, um, this under hijab. I think I also got it at Bill Collection. Yeah, it looks like it matches. Though. Yeah, and um, yeah, I don't know what else. Yeah, <laughs> do a twirl for us. Thank you for inviting us. Thank you for coming. Yes, guys. Okay, so tell them. Guys, Beyonce's family is eating this food. <laughs> Let me tell you, we just found out that this restaurant that our lovely iftar dinner was catered by. Yes, Solange goes there on a regular. On a regular. Miss Tina. <laughs> Miss well, Auntie Tina. My T father's <laughs> house in Naya. It's called My Father's House. How about you guys check it out and yes. let me know that Beyonce sent you. Yeah. <laughs> no matter what. Doctors. Okay, so I have to go. What? Why? Just downstairs. A little... These are the dads. Yeah, close head traumas. You take a clear with Vanessa. Yeah, I see what you mean. Please, no. Uh, you told baby to replace me. No, baby, no. I told baby. Just got my hair done, so I always go to this place. If you watch my birthday vlog, you remember she rescued me, and yeah, ever since I've been a loyal customer. So I went with something really simple. This is actually the wig I used for my birthday. So instead of doing the updo, I just decided to do a side part this time, and then she just put some big curls in it. But yeah, very, very cute. So now I'm gonna head home. It's like 6 p.m., so still a little bit of time before iftar, but I love it. Eat more butter. So it is officially E day. This is the buy I'm gonna wear to go pray. I think my dad got this for me or my mom. I can't remember who, but it has these padded shoulders. It just feels a lot more luxe than a regular one. So I decided to save this one for today, but we're about to get ready. My dad is already screaming, <laughs> telling us we're running late. So, you know, it's not eat if your dad isn't literally yelling at you, telling you to hurry up and get ready. But just wanted to show my outfit real quick and then I'm gonna come back on and I put it on. Eid Mubarak to all my beautiful Muslim <laughs> sisters and brothers. No. May Allah accept our duas. Amen. May Allah accept our fast. Amen. May Allah make it that next year by this time we are married. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty. <laughs> Please. No, really, God, please. please. These men are for the street. Right. <laughs> we are not, though. We are not, exactly. We're ladies. All right, everyone's outfit check. Pink Abaya, cute. Jalo, let's see the fit. Hey. Life in the Bronx. Anyways, <laughs> Jalo, love the fit. What is this, like a teal? It's cute. Him, look at him, look at him. Jalo, be, oh, be so serious lift your right foot, now. Lift your foot. Be show so them, serious. Show them. Hey! <laughs> Hanan, outfit. This yes. is cute. Black Abaya. Cute, cute. She has my scarf, so that's why I have She'll an off okay. scarf, y'all. So don't cut me. It actually me. matches. No, it doesn't. It's silver. <laughs> and I... Oh, yeah, this All is right. the right, Actually, you should stand where we were standing. Oh, okay. Okay. This is the fit. So All right. we got the Loewe glasses out today. I know she don't go nowhere without her Loewe. I don't. And then I have this nice black abaya. Mm -hmm. so padded shoes. shoulders. Shoes are my work shoes. Cause okay. you know, we can't yeah. wear sneakers on Eid, but. Allah who I Allah who Mashallah. Mashallah. <laughs>
sun came out because it's sun Eid, sun-kissed, sun literally the weather got so much better. Sun-kissed by Allah. Right. No, right? <laughs> but we just finished praying, we're about to go get breakfast. <laughs> the sun said hi! So, yeah. <laughs> no, literally. But yeah, right now we're just saying hi to all our family members, you know, all the aunties we only see once a year. Right before we head out. Iced coffee, right? Cause that's and a iced chai. Oh my God, guys! Ice I'm matcha, so excited. Let me tell you guys, I haven't had an iced chai with maple syrup in forever. Hold on, let's take a picture. Fatima, get it. Ooh, yeah. face card never declined. No. My face card never declines. My God. How did you work in the world? Let's just hang out. Say hi to the camera. He's <laughs> not a king, he's a king. <laughs> he said, I'm a king. Okay, Sarki. Let's get into the drip. Okay. Let's get into the bedazzles. Oh, daddy, you can't see it. Oh, right, oh, right, right. It's literally Sarkin Faila. US. Get on his level. <laughs> He's already said US. <laughs> Get it right. <laughs> hey, that was so the Come on. Give us a little <laughs> outfit detail. Hey, let the gear hey. stand. Hey. But he can't give money Allah. to the guests. Don't play with him. What? I want it out. No, I'm so scared. Thank you, Fuski. Got our sandwiches. Yes. That's it. Thank you. Egg and cheese, bacon and cheese. Salam alaikum. Mubarak. It's time. This is what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> Literally for a whole month. <laughs> yes. These donuts are fresh. Ooh, birthday bomb. That sounds good. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. And her mom was forcing her to take a picture with her little brother. So, yeah. But yeah, we got our drinks, so cinnamon toast lattes. After yeah. our I got an ice mocha, though. Ice mocha. 30 days. Different. Not breakfast. Right. First one, and then we got donuts, too. All right, on our way home now to eat. Hello, eat Mubarak. You look good. Oh, that's an LV. Oh, that's Okay, give us the outfit details. Um, Samira's Vanity. Yes. Oh, yes. LV. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. You look good, sis. Mm -hmm. Masha'Allah. <laughs> Inaya is wearing TJ Maxx. Head to toe. Cute yeah. dress, baby. Oh, look, she got a coat on top. Oh, she got a coat? Yeah. She bougie. Her skin feels so soft. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to our second annual Eid Exchange. So this year we're doing it a little bit different, actually, because before we're still going to pick numbers out of the bowl. <laughs> But as you can see, we put numbers next to each bag. So whatever number you pick is going to correspond with the gift you pick. Oh, okay. So it makes it extra random because we all know what bags we got, you know? Okay. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that way, everyone gets one. So everyone pick from the bowl. I'll pick first. Okay. No, you don't want to lay little cutting. Johanna said, if you want my gift, you're going to be happy. I said, Ya Allah, Allahumma inni as alik al Johanna's gift. Ya Allahumma inni as alik al Johanna's gift. Allah, he doesn't play. Jilla always does that. It was not oh, her forehead. It was not her forehead. He's so mean. He's taking a picture of my niece's forehead because he's so always. Rude. He's such okay, a so wait. Okay, I got fast. Oh, it's tied. No, um, no, or is no, it no, 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 it's it's lift? Okay, it's lift. All right, what did I get? Mm. Okay, mm. so we got a Zara perfume. Ooh, the college student. The college student. Okay, okay. okay. Okay, okay. All and then I got a piece of jewelry. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. Yes. Ooh, I literally Ooh. have these. <laughs> it's but, okay though. But you have the no, big ones. Those those no, I have the three. Really cute. I have three sizes. This is really cute though. Yes. That's beautiful. Thank you, Fatima. Yeah. Number two. So let's see. That's what we gotta start doing. Yeah. Wish list. Yeah. So that we know more of what someone would want. But it's fun when okay. it's random. I got a cute cup. It's so cute. It is, right? It gets work from home and Yes, yes, yes. Youth to the people. Last Ooh. year, Aisha got me youth to the yeah, people. Yeah, you know, I stick, to the I stick true to it. Mm -hmm. stick, take care of the skin. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Ooh. A Huda Beauty oh, palette. Oh, okay. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. Oh, okay. Love it. I'm going to use it today. Hey, yeah. that's it. And that's all. Yes, I love me some lavender. I would lavender. say this is a self-care 
care package actually. Yeah, Honestly, whoever it. gets mine is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh that's read the bag. What is my it? white elephant recipient from Cowboy Abdul? <laughs> listen, listen Cowboy. to Beyonce's new album. Scream, scream <laughs> Harder, you heard it here. Free promo. Love you, Beyonce. Free promo. <laughs> I'm love it. Ooh, the big bag. Let's Ooh. see what I got. Okay. Love yes. it. So just came back from the Eid gift exchange. It was actually really, really fun. So I know I said I was going to do the Uche routine, but I don't even think I have time. But it's okay because this is still a good chance for me to try the new product. So I have a very light layer of the skin tint on from Vanessa Myricks, but I don't really got time to wipe it off. So I'm just going to honestly put things over because I literally just use like a little bit. So even if it wipes off a bit, I'm kind of treating it as like what I would usually do with a flawless filter. So the first product I definitely want to use today is the Fenty Soft Matte uh, Primer. So, you know, I've been using my e.l.f. Hydro Grip Primer. Or is it Hydro Grip? Well, the Milk Dupe one. I've been using that for like over a year now and I really, really like how it works on my skin. So this is going to be the first primer that I've, or first different one that I've used in a long time. My brows are kind of filled in, but I'm going to like redo them. I didn't also shape them with concealer. Okay, just going to put like maybe three pumps of this primer because I'm not really sure how much you need but I'm just gonna put a nice healthy coat my face is already pretty moisturized I find that this feels kind of moisturizing too even though it's supposed to be mattifying it does say soft matte in the name so I don't think it's meant to be like the one that like really like sets your face but I do like the glow that it gives you like can you see that sheer glow that it gives so first impressions, I really, really like this. I'll see how it looks over or how my makeup looks over. All right, we're just going to jump straight into foundation. Or maybe actually I will put some of the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter on. I always like to start off with this because again, it really adds to that nice highlighted look. And this one literally matches his name, Airbrush Flawless. Like you are going to look flawless <laughs> when you use this so i will say uche uses a lot more foundation than i typically go for i'm that person who'll use like one or two pumps and i'd be like that's foundation and then i wonder why i don't really change when i put my makeup on so right now this is three pumps let's see how i feel with this but maybe i'll add a little bit more because i think i'm just scared of foundation i'm always like oh it's gonna look cakey but i feel like if you blend it well and you prep your skin well it shouldn't be doing that so Let's get it all the way down. And I prefer brushes for foundation. I know some people use sponges, but I don't know why sponges just never do it for me. I feel like this gives me the most coverage and it's also just the easiest when it comes to blending. Yeah, like see my problem is I think this is more than enough. I know people use a lot of pumps, but I just use what I need. And also feel like that preserves makeup. Like if I feel, if there's a day I'm like, okay, you really need coverage, but literally three pumps like look how glowy my skin is the shade matches pretty good i'm gonna make sure i bring it down to this area but i am using one of the foundations or not the foundation the concealers that uche recommended so huda beauty full filter concealer and we all know sephora concealer like ride or die i will always use it but i decided to try something new so this shade is i'm gonna consider my highlighting shade even though i didn't get it too much brighter i did want it to have 
warmth to it because I don't like the super bright like I know that that everyone loves that look but sometimes I like it to be a little bit warm so this one even though it's brighter than me it's almost like a tan brighter that's also one thing Uteda she uses a lot more product even with concealer which is probably what helps her makeup look so flawless so I'm trying not to be so scared with using makeup because I'm always like less is more but honestly the people who you know do those really snatch looks they tend to use a lot more product okay but first impressions of this concealer it is so smooth like it literally feels like butter going in my face like i could just already tell even just looking at this this is gonna blend out so so well like it's full coverage but also like there's some glow to it like i'm already obsessed with this i like to spray in between steps because i feel like that just helps everything blend a lot easier so i'm gonna use my real techniques brush instead and just blend all of this out because I feel like this keeps it all concentrated in the same place, which I don't like it to get too messy. So I like to really take my time blending just so the concealer doesn't get everywhere. Like you see how it's still concentrated under my eye. But I love how this is blending. Like no way I've just found a new favorite concealer. I'm about to go get the one that's my skin tone shade. Because this is just like, look at this. Look at the blend. It's so creamy. Oh, I love this. So you can really see the difference. Like my face is just so much brighter here. Okay, before I even move on to the other side, I'm also going to use her powder. So this is in the shade Kunafa. And similar to, you know, the concealer, I wanted to get something that was highlighting, but also warm to it. Okay, so this is it. And then we're just going to press it under. Oh, I already love this. I already love it. Like it just highlights but in not a ghosty way like a super flashback way i think oh this is so beautiful like look at how flawless that is and we all know i love my charlotte tilbury powder that's usually what i go in with first but i wanted to use this on my skin first to see how it looks but like literally airbrushed nothing okay my camera was overheating but i did put the charlotte tilbury airbrush powder under my eyes and then i'm gonna dust off the rest with my skin tone shade, the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. So I like to do this to bring a little bit of color back to my face before I continue. Okay, we're gonna actually cream contour to bring some dimension back into my face. So this is the dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury Elf Halo Glow, which I haven't used a Charlotte Tilbury one, but this one works pretty well. And it's actually dark enough for my skin, which if we saw earlier in this video, the two contours I got were literally like foundations on me, which sucks. But yeah, I like to put a little bit on my nose too, and then I kind of just blend it upwards. So I think I'm going to do that, and then any leftover I'll put on my forehead too. So I'm actually going to use this new Sephora brush that's meant for contouring, and I feel like it'll actually work pretty well. So, oh yeah, I love how dense it is. It isn't too fluffy, so it's not like, you know, swiping the product around, it's actually getting in there. I know Uche also puts the contour up here, like basically going into her eye. So I'm going to do that. Maybe give my eyes some more dimension. I'm also going to use this new bronzer from Pat... Not Patrick Ta Patrick Star One Size. So yeah, I ended up exchanging the other one, the Match Makeup by Mario one for this one. So I tried it on my hand in the store and it was pretty dark. As you can see, it comes with three colors. And yeah, all these are pretty dark. So they're all different shades. Pay No Mind, Surf, and Chocolate Cover. So it goes from like medium, like bronzy dark to super dark. So I probably will be using these two shades. I think I'm honestly going to like mix them together. And then just... Oh yeah, you see, you can actually see that, which I like. So I'm going to use these as a duo. So I just love how glowy, flawless my face looks. I still look like myself. My face doesn't feel super caked up, but obviously I look glam okay for eyeshadow i literally just used one from this random morphe palette it was this burnt orange shade at the bottom because my outfit is burnt orange so it just made sense i literally just like swiped it all over but the lashes that i'm going to use are these lily lashes that i got for the sephora sale they looked really pretty and they're meant for more round eyes these are the style mykonos so I zoomed in a bit more, but again, I'm not really good at putting lashes on, so I'm sorry if I end up skipping over this part. If I did, just know that it probably took me like 20 minutes to put one lash on, so. I honestly think this is as good as it's gonna get, so I'm just gonna put some blush on to bring some color back to my face. Okay, first going in with Charlotte Tilbury. Gotta sharpen the pencil, of course. Make sure... 
I get that really rich color. This is the MAC Chestnut Liner. I love this lip liner. But just look how rich that color is. I love it. I can't believe I've been going this long without like, using it. Even though everyone, like back in the OG makeup days had this. Even now, like I feel like it's still a popular product. And then I'm going to go into Fenty Heat because I find that this is one of the few lip glosses I own that really stays on. It's super pigmented. So I'm kind of just putting that in the perimeter. But I also go in with this e.l.f. lip gloss. It's in the shade Pink Cosmo, which I need to re-up on it because I use this so much while I was in Ghana. This was the lip combo I use every day and now it's basically about to finish. But I like to put this on the inside because I find that it gives me a nice ombre lip look. And then we just blend all of that together and i purposely wait till i put my lip product on to use this setting spray because i want everything to stay like i want the lip liner to stay the gloss all of it so quick outfit of the day i bought this from samara's vanity i think i inserted a clip when i bought it i didn't like the belt that came with it because this is white color here but it just looks off because the outfit is so vibrant and then it's just like a random piece of white string so I put the safety pin here for now. I'm kind of hoping it's not too noticeable, but if it is, I'll honestly just take it off. And then also the scarf that came with it was this white as well, and I just felt like it was throwing it off. So I have this that I got from an Eid party last year, so I'm just going to put this on. And I'll get a better look at my shoes when I'm doing like my full outfit outside, but this is pretty much everything. And then the bag that I'm wearing is going to be silver. All of my accessories will be silver because as you can see, there's a lot of silver jewels on this. Originally, I wanted to do gold, but... This kind of just made sense so i'm gonna put this bag with it and that's pretty much the fit so it wasn't too bad getting ready i also put these press-ons on from uh sephora i got them on the sale they're really cute they were easy to put on so yeah eat buttock we're taking pictures now okay. Rochelda's your your turn. <laughs> yeah. Hello, I love this hair, this Thank outfit. Thank you. You look Thank very you. cute. I love it. Oh, let's, let's do everyone's outfit. All right, give us the outfit details. Okay, so makeup by me. Clutch. It was a gift from my sister. Um, yeah, and this dress I got it online, but it was made and delivered from Nigeria. So. Okay, cute. I like this. I like the colors. Cute. Very cute. And then Rochelle, what's your outfit details? Okay, hair, AliExpress, okay. makeup by me, mm -hmm. bag stolen from my mom's closet, Love accompanied that. with some glasses from Zara, okay. a bio from my friend on Instagram, Hawa, okay. um, and slippers from Sierra Leone. Love it, you look so pretty. Yeah, I want you to take my pictures too. Okay, I'm coming yeah, on. Outfit cool. details, give us outfit details. So I got my dress from Samira Vanity, mm -hmm. and I have a blue dress on gold bag kind of have like a blue yellowish gold vibe going on uh -huh. but yeah this is my outfit very cute yeah, I love it. all right give us outfit details so my dress is from samira's vanity mm -hmm. bag from alto okay she's from easy pickings yes we're twinning, twinning. and <laughs> hair by me makeup by me mm -hmm. you look good i like this blue thing going on thank you very cute very Elsa. classy give it
got jollof. Yeah, there's not nama, but we got some jollof rice from one of our aunts. Everyone is happy. Okay. Look who it is. coming very soon.